This is John Troyer for the Colorado Springs Gazette. Roughly 30 miles northeast of downtown Colorado Springs is the JCC Ranch Camp, where hundreds of youngsters come every summer to play and learn. What makes this camp different, however, is its Jewish roots. At the entrance to camp hangs a welcome sign in both English and Hebrew. The camp even has staffers, counselors, and campers who were born in Israel, and even some Israeli kids who will return to their homes in cities such as Tel Aviv after their stay in Colorado. So I grew up in Israel um, and, and moved here about 11 years ago. And for those of us Israelis, we were kind of like in two places at one time. Um, it's a little bit of an escape for, 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 for some, for the staff members. I think maybe for the kids, well actually some campers here are older enough to, to realize exactly what's happening in Israel. In fact, one of the, the, um, the campers who came here lost a family member in Israel uh, just a couple weeks ago. Um, staff members lost friends. We found it to be really challenging in the last two or three weeks since the uh, military operation in Gaza started. We found it to be challenging the, uh, the, uh, the way the Israeli staff here uh, kind of behave and uh, respond to what's going on in Israel. They are really facing a challenge because on one hand they're, supposed, they're required to be very happy, very, very positive. You know, you are working in a, ranch, in a, in a summer camp environment, but on the other hand, your home is being attacked, bombed. We have a counselor here that lost uh, one of her friends. So uh, there's a gap between what you need to be and what you can be in these times. Nine-year-old Shira Peleg, who now lives in Denver, is Israeli by birth and was visiting family in Israel not long ago when she had to hide in a bomb shelter after a warning siren went off due to rocket fire coming from the Gaza Strip. And we went to a little market and two minutes later there was a siren and the siren we felt after the siren we went to a safe place and after the siren we we found out that it was at the school that that we went to pick up my um, cousin and all the kids were getting on the buses and like and they and they made it safely to a safe place Recently, the camp had an Israel Day, which included laying out a large map of the Middle Eastern nation in the center of camp, surrounded by dozens of small Israeli flags. So yesterday we had Yom Israel, or Israel Day, and this was one of the stations. It's still wet from the rain, so we haven't folded it. But this is basically one of our staff member, members, Yael. She actually talked about the, the Israeli trail, the Shavit Israel, that she just completed before she came to camp. They started here in a lot up north. Uh, up down south, I'm sorry, and they hiked all the way up north to to the Dan, Nachal Dan, Dan River, and they just hiked here, hiked it. I think it took them about two months. And what she did with the campers, she actually uh, talked about the geography of Israel through her trip and shared pictures, and there was some food food involved. So what Yael tried to do her very best, and she's fantastic. So she was able to do it to really try to get the kids to Israel while they are here in Colorado. For all the latest news, like the Gazette on Facebook and follow us on Twitter and Instagram.